Hi, YouTube. Hello. What's up? We have now the 8.0 patch with Min Min out, and we're going to go through the patch notes. People in chat saying hit that like button. Wow. I never thought you'd ask. Subscribe and hit the like button if you want to, but uh, more importantly, Mario got his final smash changed. The ramifications for the competitive scene will be significant. No, no. For some reason, this patch seems to be the patch where they change a lot of final smashes. Kirby's dash attack has reduced recovery vulnerabilities with these recovery for lag slash recovery. Extended launch distance with hitting people at the beginning of attack. Okay, maybe it can kill now. Down smash, increased attack speed, and extended launch distance. Cool. Biggest problem for me here is like, if they just wrote like, increase from frame nine to, to seven, it would be so much easier. We don't know if this is like one frame or whatever. Gonna have to wait for that stuff. Kirby backer, extended launch distance when hitting with the beginning attack. This is pretty big, I think. I think fair and backer are way bigger. Increase the power of the second and last attack, extended launch distance. Increased power is higher damage. So fair does more damage and kills earlier. Maybe that ruins some combos, but I don't think so. And stronger sweet spot hit for backer definitely matters. Down special increased uh, launch distance. That's huge for everyone that still plays free for all and just spams down B with Kirby. Probably not enough to make Kirby anything else than low or mid at best. Captain Falcon dash attack, re reduce vulnerability. We already tried this one. This means that he can combo with weak dash attack. Down tilts, lo extended launch distance, maybe helpful for two framing and gimps. I'm not sure. Up smash, which was already a really good move for Falcon. Huge hitbox, low lag, kills earlier. So that's a good buff. Side special, increased attack range four when used on the ground so it's harder to run away from it adjusted launch angle when used on the ground i think it's closer now so it's easier to combo and shorten launch distance when used on the ground so this means basically what this means is that it's going to be easier to combo into at kill percents and such and they also made it better making it easier to spike with in the air falcon up smash now kills bayo at 82 percent god damn this was the crazy thing for me falcon's down special is actually like way faster we'll show up show that off later or uh, actually earlier in this VOD. Um, extended launch distance when hitting the high damage. So, like the sweet spot range is way better. So down B is actually really strong now. Jupuff got final smash improved. No one cares. No one cares about final smashes. Sheik F smash. Easier to hit multiple times and increase the range of second attack. Okay. That's really important. Making Sheik another Sheik kill move uh, slightly better. But obviously probably not going to be a huge deal. More of a quality of life fix. Now, Falco. Falco was one out of two characters that have never been changed before this patch. Uh, every other character got some kind of change, and it was Squirtle and Falco. And people haven't been complaining about Falco for the longest time, so I'm interested to see these changes. Down tilt attack, increased attack speed, adjusted launch angle, maybe easier to combo. I'm gonna try this out as we speak, actually. Up smash attack made it easier to hit multiple times. Extended launch distance, so it's stronger at two. And increased the amount of hit detection. Okay, so more active, easier to hit multiple times. That's a huge buff for up smash. Nair, increased speed of the last attack, increased range of the last attack. Okay, so easier to connect the last hitbox of uh, Nair. Down Nair has reduced lag and reduced lag, landing lag. So it, it lasts shorter in the air and less shorter if you land with it. Maybe safe and shield, we'll see. Side special, increase the amount of time of the active hitbox, and it's faster if you do it on the ground. So that, that's some big changes actually. I don't think it's enough to make him better than Fox, but it does put, put him a bit closer in, in the conversation, I guess. I don't know how much faster this is, but they go straight up. This means that it's probably better at killing because they go straight up, but it has to be the sweet spot range, right? Where is the sweet spot? The sweet spot has to be edge, right? Looks hard to combo with though. Oh, that comboed. Oh, okay. Hmm, maybe you could do down till back here now. That combo too. Oh, wait, is this, is the sweet spot close? 15. Oh, I thought it was close. It's two frames faster. Good to know. Thank you, man. That's pretty significant, actually, for like spot dodge canceling, especially because this move is one of those moves that push back a lot on shield. Okay, so you, you might be able to gimp people off of uh, that at some some stages, maybe if you hit it off a platform and then weak hit because that's a different um, launch angle. Yeah, this looks like it's like 
Very, very tight. See, I, it combo there, but it's probably not going to kill much. Next up, we have up smash. I don't know what it killed that before. Let's try 100. Damn, that kills. And it connects more consistently now. I wonder how it compares to Fox. I also wonder if it hits crouching Squirtle. No. So we'll still um, have some issues, but yeah. <sighs> I forgot how many characters pancake in this game. Nair last hit attack hits faster. Why does this not hit? Maybe the, this makes it easier to use as an approach tool, though. If you do it instantly, it doesn't hit, though. You have to, like, jump and then do Nair. That's a pretty big deal. If you can approach a bit more neutral like this. Because neutral has always been Falco's problem. That he couldn't really approach. Wait, how much less lag does Downer have? Dude, this is no lag. Three frames less landing lag. Do we know what it is on shield now? God. Shield poke? Dodge, Falco! Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could dodge there. Minus six. Ooh, that's big. Yeah, safe aerial for Falco with downer. That will kill confirm too. Damn, dare to dare, and has less lag in the air. I don't. I never really used to move like this, but it might be nice to like edge guard like this. Like do a low downer, and then still be able to recover. Yeah, downer downer is true. Easily, it's not even close. It, I think it used to be true before too, but you didn't want really want to do a downer like this because it was on safe on shield. And then side special. Wait, what? This is so fast now. Look, it used to be this speed. Do you get combo from this? Oh, you do. And it lasts longer. Can you shorten this game? You can't, right? Side beyond shield. It's still going to be the same. Trust me. It's still unsafe on shield, but it's still a good. It, it's a better whiff punishing move now. If a Charizard just does something stupid, let's say like um, side smash, it's like a good whiff punch tool. Wait, hold back with Savi to shorten. I don't think that works on the ground though. If the, if he DS in front, it probably doesn't combo, but. Even then, that's some really good buffs for Falco. Actually, took their they took their goddamn time though, but um, still, that's nice, very nice. All right, so we're off to a good start. Next up, we have Marth down smash attack, extended launches when hit, hitting in the high damage area, and fair, bear, and upper is easier to tipper. Wait, they didn't make dare easier to tipper? Come on, come on, a hundred tipper on Squirtle and it doesn't kill. Weak. That that doesn't really matter, I don't think. Fair does seem easier though. Can you even hit like non tipper upper here? Ultimate please. That's still some nice changes though. I wish that they would change like more moves though. Like I'm pretty sure I would still be frustrated by that not tippering, for example. Like, it feels super inconsistent if Nair 1 Tipper actually tippers. But yeah, in general, sadly, I still think Lucina is going to be better. But at least this makes Marth more enjoyable to play. All right, next change is Mewtwo. Extended launch distance on back air, increased power of the tip and mid range areas of the tail. So back air might be a better kill move and edge guard move. Upper attack, instant launch distance. That's cool. Again, I'll check the kill confirms because down. This is something that a lot of people notice. Down throw now has uh, reduced vulnerability, which I don't actually think matters that much unless it makes you able to combo with the DI. But yeah, you still can't combo like that. 
They can still air dodge. I can show it to you. Which sucks, but um, it's it's to be expected. They didn't want to give him a combo throw. And then some people are saying at higher percents, you can do down throw fair, which is really hard because of the terrible buffering system of doing full jumps. Um, doesn't seem to work on Squirtle. Uh, let's change to Ivy start, which means it's very specific, most likely. Dude, what is this grab range? Okay, that comboed. See? But what happens if they hold away? That's my question. Yeah, like, you're not going to be able to combo that. It's actually a big gimmick. See? It doesn't even hit. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a gimmick, sadly. Not surprised that everyone's freaking out about it. Maybe at, like, 50, you could do, like, down throw sh fair. Yeah, that combos. Let's see if it... They can DI that. Yeah. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired. Like, why why do they not let you combo? Why do they limit hitstone and creativity so much? They literally... Added, like, a fucking super small window. And it only works if they don't know. Pure gimmick combos. Like, no good player is going to get hit by this, like, often. Because you can just react. It's not a fast throw either. But if you dash from the rising fair, they're still gonna most likely be able to buffer out. Casuals don't DI. Casuals don't fucking care about two frame difference. Against casuals, you do that. Someone said down throw, down till upper kills now. Yeah, upper was supposed to be stronger, right? Yeah, that's not going to kill with DI. I'm not exactly impressed by Mewtwo changes. Especially compared to the Falco changes, these changes seem so half-baked. I forgot two things. Neutral special, increased power when not charged, increased attack speed, reduced vulnerability. That could be big, actually. Down throw, fair kill is not real. You can DI. Yeah, so a little bit less lag for this seems cool. Like, you can combo like that. Two hit combo galore. But yeah, this one's faster, which is nice. Having a better special, I think, is his best change overall. Of course, Sakurai bu buffs the projectile. Of course. Of course. Uh, and a B has way less lag if you go go into the ground. Which is nice. It's not the easiest thing to get away with, but it's definitely gonna. I don't want to be too negative, okay? But Sakurai, Sakurai's biggest buffs are literally like a gimmick down throw combo and increasing projectiles and recovery. It is like easily the lamest possible changes for me too. Anyway, next up we have Meta Knight. I already went through him. Uh, I didn't really notice a big difference. Basically, Nair has more more range, but it's still low, in my experience, when playing. Fair has lower lag, but not lower landing lag, just lower lag in the air. And it connects better, backer connects better, and neutral B is, has uh, the strong hitbox for a little bit longer, and up special is easier to uh, connect. Right, we were on pit before we restarted. So pit got some cool buffs. Um, up down tilt sends really straight up so it's easy to combo um up smash is stronger uh not sure how much but it felt pretty significant down smash seems to be a better launch angle up air has increased attack speed adjusted launch angle extended launch distance of the last attack so stronger and lower end lag down b has less lag and get up attack is bug fixed F seems like dark pickup pretty much exactly the same changes so let's check them out I mean, it still doesn't look like the fastest aerial. This is a good low percent combo. Wait, they didn't fix like how consistently Nair hits. Wasn't that like the biggest complaint with Pit? Ooh, that's a kill confirm. I think this could kill confirm, but it's going to be hard. 
But down till upper seems easy enough. Full buffer, brain did confirm. But you can probably DI this pretty really far. And it seems pretty specific. See like here how it doesn't connect. But if I go like 110, it doesn't connect. So this is another thing where you have to study your matchups. But I don't think this will kill on that many characters. Because if I DI this, like, oh, it might randomly cross up like Rob's. But that doesn't kill on Battlefield if with DI, I think. My issue is what if they DI the down tilts? Yeah, see? It doesn't even kill in Battlefield. Yeah, there, see? With DI, it doesn't combo. So many moves like that in this game where there's, if you hit the DI, there's just gimmicks. Uh, down smash is better launching it apparently, but still doesn't seem strong. Like, look at this down smash on Squirtle at 110. That's like, maybe as an edge card, I guess. Like here it will kill. Maybe upper combos or lower percents. That could be interesting. It doesn't look like it combos. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Pitch, you're still bad. Okay, next up we have Ike. Dash attack for Ike is stronger. Down tilt is shorter, which probably helps it combo better. Or like down tilt, sh down tilt singe is shorter. Um, Nair sends further extended launch distance which probably means that it's harder to confirm which is probably a nerf oh fuck unless <sighs> again they reduce combos this is going to be a super hard combo to confirm like it's going to be very specific now but at the percent where Nair up air works, it's going to be even stronger. Yeah, you kind of have to get the weak back back hit. But the weak back hit is smaller now. Nair up B is a kill confirm. Yeah, it's a kill confirm, bro. Maybe at 70, I guess. That does not kill though. Maybe by the edge. That looks very diable though. I would not count on this. Like that's probably about equally strong, but this might be more damage. And maybe fair has reduced vulnerability, but it has the same landing lag. Maintained the launch distance, but made it do more damage. This is pretty nice because Ike couldn't go off stage before because he's fair had so much lag. Maybe you can do like fair. Dude, I fucking hate this stupid ass buffer. Like, I, I'm, I'm holding the C stick forward and it does fucking back here. Yeah, so you can do that now. You're still probably not going to want to go off stage in most matchups because, uh, you know, ultimate, but um, still nice. Like, it's crazy that he can't full jump and then jump again. That's a, he. So it still has a ton of lag. See? I think down tilt might be nice now. Yeah, down tilt, fair still combos, big damage. Maybe upper. Doesn't look like upper combos, but it might like pseudo combo, you know, where they can't air dodge out. Someone said back air, um, which I honestly doubt. But maybe on some characters. And then dash attack was stronger, right? That could be a nice buff. His dash attack is very good. It has a huge hitbox. Does 17 damage. And like just being able to like have a good burst option in neutral. Yeah, that like kills at 100 on light characters, like mid stage. That's definitely good. Yeah, it was already pretty strong, but this is like pretty ridiculous. Let's see when it kills Ivysaur. 
Yeah, it feels to me like they're trying to make Ike less centralized around Nair, especially for kill confirms, since you can't do like Nair up here at this percent anymore. And it, they're trying to incentivize you to use the weak hit of Nair, like this more, which is actually pretty good changes, I think. Yeah, this probably kills at like 115 maybe. Yeah. That's pretty fucking good. Maybe a tiny bit higher with DI, but then you add rage and stillness bonus. That's actually true. Like, look at how much damage Fair does now. Fair does 16.3 damage from full jump and 14 damage of a short hop. It's pretty good damage. Especially since you get Fair from every, like, throw. Up special made it so the first attack upward does not get neutralized, so you can't clank with this, I guess. Extended the launch distance of the final attack, adjusted launch distance of the final attack. So this is an actual kill, kill option now. What frame is it? Damn, wait, that kills at 114 mid stage? Still 15, but it, it's a good like spot dodge. Slash out of shield option since it has armor. You can't really combo into it, but yeah. Definitely helps him be more of a threat out of shield at high percents. I'm not going to make him the best sortie, but it does there it is some nice uh quality of light changes for sure. Next up we have Ivy Star. Oh my god, PT left and coming back. And the changes are basic movements. Okay. The vulnerability for breaking falls forward and backwards now aligns with other fighters. Literally nothing. Diddy Kong, dash attack, more, hits more consistent and has a little bit bigger range. F tilt, we already checked this, this barely matters. Down smash is faster, um, lasts a bit longer. Fair has a bigger attack range, but still doesn't hit Squirtle rising. Let's try Pikachu actually. Since someone's, someone mentioned that. Oh, okay. Wait. Never mind. Dude, how did they even make it bigger? It's fine that they don't want Ike to spam Nair, but they improved down tilt to do similar things while making it hard for Nair to get killing curves. So Ike will now just spam down tilt. Nothing has changed. Just keep both and suddenly Ike has more depth. Bro, you don't get it because down tilt is way worse of a move because it's not safe on fucking shield. Ike Nair is fucking brain dead. Down tilt down smash is more consistent. You need to do a sliding or some shit. That combos now. I, don't, I think it might have before, but you need to do the one frame down tilt. Oh yeah, and they removed the Diddy Banana Infinite. You can't, you can't do it anymore. So basically, Diddy is about the same, but you can't infinite anymore. So a little bit less degenerate. Next up, we have D3, down tilt, adjusted launch angle. Fair is stronger, upper is stronger. Neutral B is faster. Okay, so still bad. Still bad. Everyone agree? Okay, all right, moving on. Villager Nair made it easier to hit multiple times. Jab, sorry, not Nair. Jab connects better. Up tilt connects better. Arm and head invincible. Up smash increased a little bit stronger. Upper stronger. Downer stronger. Down special. Reduce vulnerability when planting a seed. Reduce vulnerability when. Okay, so safer. Stronger when hitting with an axe. Stronger against shields when hitting with an axe. Okay. Yeah, maybe Dare is a lot faster. That, that would probably be the biggest thing. And that was a character I've heard a lot about. Wii Fit Trainer. Toxic ass, badly designed character. As quoted by even my local Wii Fit main that I play against. Down tilt is an adjusted angle. Up smash is faster. I wonder how much. Oh, it still, it still doesn't hit. 11. Cool. Down tilt used to send up. Oh, is it a kill move now? Wait, let me, let me go to a regular stage. I absolutely hate Wii Fit. Such an awfully designed character. You hit them off and they power up. Who thought of that? Who was like, yeah, let's make a well-designed character where you get punished for hitting them off stage because they can so freely both recover and get deep breathing at the same time. And then you just plank. All the moves have terrible looking hitboxes. Like you don't know where the actual hitbox is at all. Same character, same person that designed Lucario. Big true. Okay, what about with deep breathing? Pfft. 
That's pretty fucking- 20 damage? Does that two frame? Dude, I forgot how fucking toxic it is to train him with literally anything in this game. Oh, it does. Some characters. Don't remind me of these things. Down smash is less lag. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Not a move you used a lot anyway. Because again, this move doesn't like actually kill that much faster than <laughs> down tilt than F tilt. It's not a huge change because F2 is already broken as shit, but uh, down tilt being able to two frame means that you can get some RNG kills while ninja guarding or ledge trapping. So that's nice, I guess. I wonder if it's easier to get this combo now uh, at lower percents. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's without deep breathing, guys. Yeah, backers busted, but that was busted before. <laughs> that was in before. Dude. Like, okay, 50% kill confirm. No way to counter. People whine about fucking Joker downer up smash killing at 60. Of an aerial that's actually like w harder to hit than this. Of a character like we fit is really faster than deep breathing. If a good player picks this character up, it's gonna be scary. Fair has way less landing lag. Does this hit cra short characters too? Only the back hitbox it looks like. Dude, I hate how this character moves work what is a spike there but yeah i guess if you can make this move hit you can probably raw it but we is still gonna struggle a little bit against short characters that that was our problem before yeah you can do stuff like that i guess get a bit easier combos the neutral special is stronger okay why did they buff everything about Weefa Trainer? <laughs> this character was awful. Deserved to stay bad. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. Let me correct myself. This character wasn't even bad. But they deserved to get worse. Okay, all right. I'm disgusted and I'm leaving. Wow, Lil Mac got huge buffs. Bug fixes. Pog. Okay, Corrin. Corrin, 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 Corrin. Corrin side smash is stronger. Increase the tipper range and the power of the tipper. Increase the opponent's downtime when hitting shield. So it's better on shield, I suppose. Fair does more damage. That's really good. Backer does more damage when hitting with the beginning of the attack. And it's stronger when hitting in the beginning of the attack. Upper does more damage and sends further. Side special. Uh oh. What do, why do they keep buffing side B? Side B was already good. Reduced. Lag for lance attacks, extended launch distance for kick when hitting with the beginning of attack, reduce vulnerability when jumping after time. Okay, all right. Fair doing 9.6 is actually very good. Can I just say that I hate that voice line? Ha oh, oh. ha. Pain was pretty bad for her. I still saw people use it a lot. I would rather make neutral be a decent move. Like, neutral be so bad. 4% for a move this laggy? Like, what the fuck? Oh, wow. That has no lag now. Like, the jump. Reduce lag for lance attacks? What's lance attacks? Is that just... Like that? Yeah, she's still equally slow. Back at us 13% now. Let's increase the percentage a bit. Oh yeah, this was supposed to be stronger, right? I don't know how much, but this does seem very strong. The damage buffs were definitely deserved. It made no sense that Korn did that low damage for a character that slow with a better recovery. Nair still does low damage, but sets up now. Ooh, wait, wait a minute. How, how strong is upper at this percent? Dude, she's just so slow. Oh, 
Hold up. Okay. Okay. Fair back here. And Nair back here. That's pretty... That's a little scary. If only... If only she had like a few more confirms. She'd be super scary. Like if she had a grab combo... She would officially be like... A threat. Now she's gonna be more like... Really annoying if you don't know the matchup. I think. But she's definitely good at killing now at least. She just can't re wreck up the new damage. She's the new Ike. I think Ike is better than he used to be. He's just gonna be a little, little bit more interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, at a hundred, you're gonna start be able to do like, dude. That's a good, good ass confirm. I just hate. Okay. All right. Time for the left and hate. Get ready. I just dislike how all of these combos are from safe aerials. It's like the lamest way to start a combo. Just... Like, this is gonna be Korn's playstyle now. Just like Ike. And, oh, I got a, I got a hit. Alright, let me kill. She's so slow, though. Like, oh, it feels disgusting. Still gonna be pretty specific when you can get her or not. Especially with the DI. But if you miss the DI, you're gonna die. And obviously, Pin is still... Really good. Especially, like, up pin now might just be fucking safe if they don't re react super quickly. All right, so cool corn buffs, I guess. Oh, she got to grab stuff. No, Nair confirms do work. Uh, they're just more specific now. A bit hard to land. Oh, yeah, when does Tipper S smash kill? We should check that out. All right, place your bets on when it's going to kill. I'm thinking 83, uncharged. I was right. Damn, that is a strong fucking kill move. It it destroys him at 70. No rage. All right. It's it's a really hard to uh, land move though. Okay, let's move on to Bayo. Can someone some Bayo main help me? Here here's my thing. Bayo's already a fucking ass, <laughs> fucking ass bitch. Let's be fucking real. No one likes Bayo. Bayo's stupid as shit. I played Rage, the good Bayo, and it was already awful. Like, she's not broken, but she's awful to fight because of this move. This move is too safe. And you can't ledge sharp her because she does, like, ledge jump this, which, you, which is really hard to punish because she falls under, or she does this. Okay, so it's, that has way lower lag. Oh, wow, that is a true as combo. Wait, what? How did I combo the first time? Okay, maybe it doesn't combo? Yeah, it doesn't seem to combo Siri at least. There you go. I think you can buffer. I think that's what it is. I don't know, maybe it doesn't work at zero. But it's it's quite possible that she couldn't like that Pikachu can't escape this. Uh even if it doesn't say true combo. Up tilt, increase attack speed, increase the lane range of the last attack, more active. That has to combo. There's no way this doesn't combo. I think that's just the training mode being bugged. Yeah, that combos at, at, at the very least. Side smash is stronger. Damn, it was already her best kill move. Extent and it's more active now. That's gonna be a scary ledge trap. Damn, that's gonna be really scary for ledge trapping.
Like, it kills at 70. And it's more active now, which is nice. It was definitely not active enough before. Side special. Reduce vulnerability when used on the ground. Dude, this was already annoying as shit to punish. How do you do the second one? Do you just hold? Oh. Maybe you can combo to, to like, backer now. Doesn't look like it. Maybe I sense. Does it combo? I, I don't think it combos. Maybe with like super specific DI. Reduce vulnerability when kicking upwards. Wait. It has to be that kick, right? It can't possibly mean this kick. This kick was already broken as shit. I hope not. Up B. Shorten the distance an opponent can move within hit stun. Okay, so you can't SDI up B anymore. Cool. Less counterplay. SDI was too broken right before. Isn't that what everyone said about Bayo before? Just SDI? Okay, so she's not good still, but she's going to be more annoying. Quality of life fixes, I suppose. Ridley down B, increased damage on down B. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's what all my Ridley player mains, main friends always say. If only down B did even more damage. <laughs> King K rule, dash attack is stronger, up smash is stronger, and does more damage. Back throw has better angle probably side special has more armor more durability of his belly so king care rule is going to be even more toxic online and still completely useless competitively cool why did isabel get less changes than villager while being dramatically worse but maybe she's better now than little mac so she so little mac's like clearly the worst because i saw some people say that little mac and isabel were like contender for bottom two for the worst characters incineroar up smash is stronger grab attack pummel oh all of his grabs are faster okay Four throw is stronger. Um, side special is faster and stronger. Uh, down special has less lag. Hold up. Does this mean you can combo from down down B? Down B grab. Frame seven grab. No, that's nice. What was it before eight? Left and center was back. Still doesn't feel like it combos. This seems faster though. Like significantly faster. Holy shit. That's going to be toxic online. How do I do the timing in? How much faster is side B grab? And that's stronger. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No, he's still absolutely worthless competitively. He's just a bit more annoying now. Doesn't change anything. I mean, I guess better grab. Right? Like, better grab is probably the biggest one. Up smash is even stronger. Four throw. What do I percent four throw kills now? Okay. I think you might be able to DI this though. Let's see. Yeah. It's a very DIable throw. It says grab legitimately five frames faster. No way. Standing grab is one frame faster. Yeah, exactly. Dash grab is one frame faster. So in center rule, still bad. Piranha plant, up tilt, adjusted launch angle, up tilt, adjusted launch angle, in faster startup, down smash, faster startup, fair fast startup, backer in stronger, upper stronger. I wonder if this ruins his combos. I'm so mad they didn't fix anything about Terry, by the way. I forgot how fucking painful it is to play this game against short characters. Like, bro, my moves can't even hit. What does it matter if they're stronger? <sighs> Next up, they made heroes kaboom better. Awesome. <laughs> that's exactly what we all wanted. And I think that's it for the changes. Overall, I think the changes were fine. I would say that the big, the best changes in terms of design were definitely Falco's. Mars were nice quality of life changes. Still probably going to be worse than Lucina, but definitely nice. Mewtwo's is a bit disappointing. Meta Knight was also quality of life mostly. I don't think any character is really going to be top tier after this. I don't, yeah, I, I not a single character that was buffed is going to be top tier. And there's no real reason to switch to any of the characters 
here if you were a competitor but i will say that like i also really like ike's changes because they make it more interesting my character less of a narrow machine machine and uh more diverse and the dd kong's changes were good too they, they didn't buff him too much but they did make him a lot less degenerate with by removing his infinite honestly maybe the best character now the best two characters here are probably i would say we fit trainer because we fit trainer was already a slept on character against anyone that's not short and maybe falcon because i don't think falcon was bad he, was, he just feels bad to play and he got some big changes on side b and down b and um, up smash dash attack and such outside of that corn i don't think it's going to be good enough because of bad air speed and bad mobility but definitely nice quality of life changes bay is going to be more annoying to fight incinero is going to be more annoying to fight kinky rule is going to be more annoying piranha plant is going to be more annoying but i don't necessarily expect anyone to be go from bad to top tier maybe some characters like ike corin falcon can move up one tier kirby's changes were not big enough i don't think i didn't test them out extensively though what ha needs to be fixed by terry like everything He's so bad to control. Overall, my impression on this patch is it's a pretty good patch. I think many of the patch changes will make a lot of people who main those characters happy. Don't necessarily think many people will be like, oh shit, I need to get back into Smash because Falcon side B got a little bit better. Uh, I mean, maybe, but uh, I, I don't really think any top tier main will have to switch because no top tiers got nerfed. But some low tiers and mid tiers and maybe fringe high tiers in the, in the case of falcon and we fit got really really nice like quality of life buffs um so maybe we'll start seeing the people that already made those character do really well and maybe people like wadi who used to secondary we fit and play rob might p play we fit a bit more so overall, I think it's a pretty good patch. Um, obviously, it's super disappointing that there's no online updates. And instead, they got spirit board updates. It is still a lot of buffer bugs. There's still a huge lack of good stages. It really hurts that Spring Stadium is like almost a perfect stage. But there's a ceiling, which honestly makes it... Uh, completely unviable as a competitive choice, whether people will on Reddit will see that or not. But yeah, um, I'm going to try to keep playing a little bit offline at least. I try to play online. It's no, I can't go back. Not after playing rollback melee. I can't go back. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content and uh, peace.